Tree Academy 1. Welcome back for another lesson. Um, it's a rainy week out there. I've always liked practicing my viola, especially a lot when it's raining, which is a good thing that I live in Oregon. So hopefully you'll get some good practice time um, today and for the rest of this week. We're going to be learning how to slur with our bows later on today. So I'll be explaining that and we'll be going over that concept. But before we do that, let's get warmed up um, with some of the songs that we've learned already. We're going to start on page 23, number 86, Ode to Joy. So cello, always make sure that your feet are flat on the floor. Make sure your back is nice and straight. Elbows out. Violins and violas, make sure that your violin and viola is covering your shoulder. Um, your scroll is pointed towards the music stand. And of course, that you have good zip step feet. Okay, so let's start with number 86, Ode to Joy. And here we go. 86, Essential Elements Quiz, Ode to Joy. Okay, next is number 88, Ferrajaka. <clears throat> in case you're wondering, you're like, why is Miss Pfeiffer always playing the same songs over and over and over at the beginning of the class? These were the songs that were going to be on um, our final concert. So I'm playing them so that maybe perhaps at the end of the school year, you could give a little uh, mini final concert to your friends and family. Um, and you'll know these really, really well because we've been playing them every single class. Okay, so okay, let's do number 88, Ferrajaka next. And remember to take the repeat on this one. So here we go, 88. 88. Frere Jaca, round. There are four beats in this count off.
which is number 89, just the next one in the book. And this is Bilem Cabbage Down. Remember, we are just doing the A part for number 89, Bilem Cabbage Down. 89, Bilem Cabbage Down, orchestra arrangement. Can Can Orchestra Arrangement. There are four beats in this count off.
page 28. The next song that we're going to review is one that we worked on last week, French Folk Song. This is number 106. Now, something that I'd like you to be thinking about as we play this one, uh, we learned last time about dotted half notes, um, and you can look at the top of page 28 if you need to review that concept. So if it's a half note with a dot after it, it's going to get three slow counts, okay? As you're playing those dotted half notes, I want you to be sort of paying attention to how slowly your bow is going um, and how slowly you're able to make your bow go. That's going to help us out with the new thing that we're going to learn today after we finish playing French Folk Song and Spanish Dancer, okay? So sort of be paying attention to how slowly your bow is going because that will come in helpful um, and handy in just a few minutes. Okay, so French Folk Song, we're starting on high D. Here we go. 106. French folk song. piece. So let's go on to uh, lesson, or I'm sorry, page 29. Now, if you haven't already, I'd like you to put in the names of the notes for page 29. So you can pause the video now if you haven't done that yet. And remember, if you're confused on any of the note names, at the back of the book in page on page 47, they have all of the note, note names here, um, just to review if you need that. Okay, a couple of new concepts for this week. The first thing that they're going to work on 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 uh, number 108 is introducing um, the idea of a tie to you, okay? A tie is simply this little um, line right here that's connecting two of the notes. Now, if you read um, in the yellow box up here, it says a tie is a curved line that connects notes of the same pitch. So two of the same notes, okay? So these are both E's, and we're, when they're connected with that little um, curved line, that's called a tie. Okay, I like to think of a tie as a plus sign. So you're adding value to um, the first note. So one plus one equals two. Okay, so this is going to get two counts. So you may be thinking, well, why don't they just write it like a half note? It's just a different way to write something that gets two counts. You can write it as a half note, which also gets two counts, or you can write it as a tie, which is two one note or one count notes tied together. So let's just sing together um, line, or number 108, okay? We'll sing the names of the notes. Get the starting pitch here. <clears throat> okay, starting on open D. Ready, go. D, E, F sharp, G, A, G, A, circle bow. sharp, E, D, E, D, rest, rest. Let's try playing 
doing that on our instruments, okay? So just remember, so, slow bows, the tied notes get two counts each, um, and starting on open D. So number 108, here we go. Let me find it here. 108, fit to be tied. you is called the slur. So if you look at, first of all, if you look at the slur, you're like, that just looks like a tie. Wait a minute, this is confusing. But if you read the little yellow box, it says, a slur is a curved line that connects two or more different pitches, okay? So two different notes. So whereas up here, the tie was connecting two E, right? Down here, the slur is connecting a D to an E. So they're two different notes. And it says, play slurred notes together in the same bow stroke. So this is why I was telling you in French folk song to pay attention to how slowly your bow is going on those three count notes. Because the secret to doing a slur is making sure that your bow goes really, really slowly, especially on the first note, okay? Um, so let's, first of all, just bow along in the air with me. And so make sure that when you're bowing, you're going two notes down bow, so go D, E, both down bow, okay? And then C, D, both up bow, okay? So here we go, starting on 109, singing together the note names. Ready, sing. D, E, rest, rest. E, D, rest, rest. D, E, rest, rest. E, sound like this. See how I kept my bow go really slowly? Uh, kept my bow going really slowly. Okay, and then the up bow will look like this. So super slow bow. Let's try this together. So number 109, stop and go. I think you guys are going to like this. It's tricky, but it sounds really cool once you get it to work. Okay, here we go. 109, stop and go. Number 110, let's sing the note names out loud first, so still with the slurs, okay? Ready, sing. 
Okay, number 110 with the recording, starting on open D. Here we go. 110, slurring along. Smooth sailing. together starting on D again ready sing D E E E F sharp F sharp F sharp G G G A A A B B B C sharp C sharp C sharp D D D C sharp See, there's a reason I'm a violinist and a violist, not a singer. Okay, here we go. That's okay. <laughs> okay, starting number 112 from the beginning. This is starting on open D. Still practicing our slurs. Okay, 112. Here we go. 112. D major scale slurs.
not something that's going to be easy um, for everybody, probably not for anybody, honestly, um, but it will get easier the more times that you practice it. And just remember, the trick is super slow bow, okay? Let's finish off by playing the Spanish Dancer. So go ahead and get your sheet music ready for that. We'll just do it one time. I'll um, demonstrate today on my violin. So four clips and then we will begin with Spanish Dancer. Here we go.